Hi, I am Roxana from VP Estate and in this video I will show how to create a search form using the property search form builder for Elementor. We have another video tutorial where we explain how to create a search form with tabs and in this video I will show how to create a new search form without tabs. On this domain I have imported the ROM demo. This demo includes a search form created with the property search form builder. Starting from this search, I will create a new one and I will add more fields and change design settings. I will edit the home page with Elementor. This is the search form builder. Since I will add more fields, I will make it for row, so I will remove this column. I will go to the search form builder. You will see that in tabs section, the tabs are disabled. I will go to form fields and add the fields that I wish to display in the search form. I will keep the location field and add five new fields. I will add the new field. I will set the width to be 25%. Also, I will make the location field smaller. I will set it to 50%. Now I will add the rest of the fields by duplicating this one field that I just added. I will go to submit button and change the width of the button as well, so I can have all fields in one line. Next I will change style settings. To add more space between the fields I will change the rows gap value. Also I will set the content padding. I will add different values for top, right, bottom and left. My style settings are done. I will go back to content section to form fields and set the fields that I want to display on front end. The first field will remain the location one. For the second one, I will select categories. The compare term will remain like. I will add a field label and a field placeholder. I will set the next field to be types. I will add a field label and a field placeholder. Moving to the next field, I will set it to be property ID. The compare term will be equal. I will add a field label and a field placeholder. And for the last two fields, I will set them both to price. The first field will be for minimum price, so I will set the compare term to greater. I will add a field label and a field placeholder. Since I will not use price slider, I will leave these two fields blank. And for the last field, I will set it to price. Since it will be maximum price, I will set the compare term to smaller. I will add a label and field placeholder. The new search is ready. I will save my changes and check the page on front end to see the results. The user will be able to look for properties by address, categories, types, property ID and minimum and maximum price. This wraps our video, thank you for watching and do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get instant notifications on new videos.